Welcome to our channel, we hope you have grateful moments with YouTube every day and today too. Before continue with our script today, please subscribe our channel to enjoy more of our videos. Today we are going to talk about Radner Muradhoff. Welcome. Radner Muradhoff, gorgeous in his youth, and in old age he slept on newspapers. He could have become a cool pilot, a renowned chess player or a party official, but in the memory of millions of people he will forever remain Vasily Alibabovic. Even in his advanced years, Radner Muratov never took offense if someone jokingly or seriously called him that. If the audience remembers me for at least one role, it means that I'm not doing my job in vain, he said sincerely. As sometimes some chance to change our whole destiny backhand. It's like someone up there is shuffling the whole deck of cards, and you have a completely different life, slurp to the fullest. So it happened with Radner Muratov. This is how the actor Vladimir Pratezenko recalled it, in Gentleman of Fortune he played a childhood friend of Kramarev, and in life he was a friend of Muratov. Vladimir Pratezenko passed away in August 2015. Vladimir Pratezenko and Yevgeny Leonov Radik arrived in Moscow, sat down near a fountain, lit a cigarette. Some men approached him and asked him to light a cigarette. Then he asked, you are looking at the institute so intently. You probably want to enter. Well, admitted Radik, I want to try. What can you do? Asked the interlocutor. Muratov read Mayakovsky's poems. He did it very expressively, after all, an oriental person. The stranger liked it. Come to the institute tomorrow, he said, straight to room 122. Say that to me. As it turned out later, this stranger was the famous director Mikhail Rahm. Muratov entered VGIK without exams. But behind him was already a flight school in Kazan, from which he graduated with honors. He dreamed of the sky since childhood, but now the acting profession attracted him. Student life was fun and not poor, dad rented him an apartment in the center of the capital. Restaurants, taxis, imported things, and good cigarettes, he still smoked then, then quit. And then he had an affair with the beauty Izalda Izvitskia, later they began to live in a civil marriage. She was already a famous actress in her student years, but no one knew him. But Izvitskia for some time believed that she would bring Radik into people, and soon she left him and was carried away by others. In 1951, after graduating from the institute, 23-year-old Radner became an actor in the theater of film actor. A few years later he married actress Elena Dovlatbekova and in 1956 they had a son, Leonid. Actress Elena Dovlatbekova, Muratova, many colleagues envied him, said that Muratov was a thug and that everything was easy for him. But it was hardly possible to graduate with honors from such a university by pull. Radner Muratov was talented, but only more often he was offered to play episodes. There were dozens of them, but even in tiny roles, the audience remembered him. Surely he wanted to play the main roles. But no one has ever heard of him complain, take offense, or beg for roles for himself. He didn't tear his hair, that he was not allowed to play Hamlet. Even in small roles, he gave all the best 100%. He loved his heroes and wanted them to be remembered by the audience. We remember him from the films Maxim Perepolitsa, Duel, Time, Forward, Golden Calf, Shield, and Sword, Twelve Chairs. And also Everyday Life of the Criminal Investigation, The Lost Expedition, Golden River, Afanya, Eternal Call, It Can't Be. The actor himself always said that his favorite director is Alexander Siri. In no picture was it so easy for him as on the set of Gentlemen with Siri, who entrusted him with the role of Vasily Alibayevich, 
which was originally supposed to be played by Franzik Kretschian. In the photo, the director of the film Gentleman of Fortune Alexander Siri and actor Radner Muratov in the role of Vasily Alibabovic. True, he did not feel comfortable with his escape colleagues. At first he was squeezed in the frame, he was a little shy of them. And they themselves were reserved people. Vitsin and Kramarev loved solitude. He perceived their reticence during breaks as rejection. Friendship between them did not happen. Radner Zinyatovich himself was a very sociable and non-conflicting person, it was easy with him. There was no anger, envy in him, he was not very interested in the personal life of his colleagues. Moreover, in his personal life, he had already undergone drastic changes by that time. Radner Muratov and Savali Kramarev in Samarkand, during a break between filming Gentlemen of Fortune his family fell apart. Rather, he destroyed it himself. I understood everything, blamed myself, but I could not do anything with myself. Almost every day, he carried things from the apartment to the buy-up, so that on the same day he could drop the rubles received for them at the races. Muratov was an avid gambling addict. He spent almost all his free time at the Moscow Hippodrome, every horse knew him there, or rather, he knew everything about every horse. Races, bets, schedules, calculations, intuition, he had his own settlement system. And if the first years of his life his wife endured and tried by hook or by crook to overcome her husband's addiction, then she could not stand it and left him with her son. When Leonid grew up, he also tried to help his father. I even persuaded him to undergo a course of treatment for gambling addiction by a psychiatrist, but nothing helped. Leonid Muratov also became an actor. Radner Muratov had an analytical mind. Few people know that he was a candidate for Master of Sports in Chess. And if earlier he often came to the Central Chess Club on Gogolov Sky Boulevard, now the Hippodrome has become his second home. He gave the Hippodrome half a century. He was often lucky, but all that he won he immediately spent on new bets. And every day he can't carry a priory. When he didn't have a ruble in his pocket, he borrowed from friends. He could not live without it, he began to break down. Meanwhile, over the years, he was less and less invited to the shooting. The actor began to have memory problems, the consequences of a stroke, which he did not notice and suffered on his feet. He began to forget the words, several times he could not find his way home. No one then thought that it was the beginning of Alzheimer's disease. At that time, Muratov was very much rescued by the Comrade Cinema concerts, with which he traveled around the country. The audience loved him. Vasily Alibabovic himself came to visit us. He tried, entered the image, a skullcap on his head, songs about the tea house, acting tales. And, of course, pearls. And now there is a pasta dinner in prison, I'm a lousy jackal, I steal and steal everything, eat is served. Sit down to eat, please. Hey, citizen. Don't go there, go here. And then the snow will fall into the head, you will be completely dead. Associate professor, give me a gold piece, please. I will buy a kerosene stove, otherwise the primus is very thin, everyone ran, and I ran, what a good cement, it doesn't wash off at all. In 1986, Radner Muratov was awarded the title of Honored Artist of the RSFSR. He was pleased, but this did not give money and privileges anymore. When the turn came to retire, he quit the film actor theater, but then realized that he could not live on a tiny pension, he returned. They got stuck on the contract, they regretted it. Although he did not play in a single performance, he still received some kind of salary. 
sometimes he was helped by money and food and the Screen Actors Guild. It was the 90s in the yard, it was difficult for everyone. At the time, he lived like a Spartan. There was not even a bed in his apartment. For a while, the actor slept on the floor, on newspapers, and then on the interior door, which he removed from its hinges and put on piles of old books. By the way, books were his second passion. He read voraciously, he had a good library. He was starving, but he did not sell books. The ex-wife and son tried to help him. But he refused even a little help from them. Pride. Or he was ashamed and uncomfortable to be a burden for them. He often wandered the streets of Moscow, forgetting the way home. In this thin, degraded old man, few recognized the famous Vasily Alibabek. Sometimes neighbors fed him, they hung food packages on the door handle of his apartment. It happened that his memory returned to him for some time. In those moments, he seemed to come to life. I remembered funny incidents from the shooting, but memory gaps became more and more frequent. Once Radner Muratov left home and never returned. He was found only two months later. He was recognized by a policeman in one of the metropolitan squares. He did not remember who he was or his name. He was weak and was taken to the hospital. Already in the hospital, he had a second stroke. After lying in a coma for four days, the actor died without regaining consciousness. It happened on December 10, 2004. Radner Zinyatovich Muratov was 76 years old. Bright memory. Don't forget to subscribe our channel to enjoy more of our videos basically with stories and all about entertainments worldwide in English language.